Well, it's time to do another weekly menu. I've got everything all written down. Um, I was gone for a little bit, so I wasn't able to keep up with it, but I'm home now. And now let's get this menu going. I have our weekly menu on my handy dandy little notebook. My husband's actually home today doing bids and stuff, so he gave me some ideas and some inspiration. So now we're gonna stick it onto the board. Um, so make sure in the comments that you guys tell me again what we you would like to see. I kind of took a little break because um, we were out of town for a little bit for Izzy's senior trip, and then we had to get ready. We just had like lots going on. So now it's time to get everything on that. All right, well, here is our weekly menu board for the week of February 24th, 2024. Um, on Sunday, um, Haley made macaroni, cheese, and hot dogs because we were gone for a long weekend, taking, like I said, taking Izzy to her senior trip. So on Sunday is Haley. Haley made and you know what it wasn't anything special it was just like a craft macaroni and cheese but she literally cooked for me like all weekend which I'm so thankful for so she made um I'm gonna say craft because I'll give craft their due I guess craft mac oh, and cheese Joshy and uh, David are home with hot dogs all right and so um, she, we just used all beef hot dogs, crap, well she did, hot dogs, and sorry about that, I got lots going on in the background here, cut because there's lots of chatting. So anyway, she just did craft macaroni and cheese with hot dogs, and I gotta tell ya, when my kids were little, I made a lot of mac and cheese with hot dogs because it was fast, it was cheap, I had lots of kids and hungry boys, but I couldn't just serve mac and cheese, I had to add the hot dogs because the kids need the protein, and honestly, we did use garbage hot dogs back then, we did. Now we're to the all beef hot dogs because we're older and we realize, <laughs> I'm not a hot dog fan, but you know what though? You can make it more for like adults by adding, um, I think like cheesy brats or smoke brats. You can add some veggies to it and kind of make it like a, like a souped up loaded mac and cheese. You can add bacon, you can add different cheeses to it. So there is a way to make it a little better than that, but you know, I'm very thankful that Haley cooked for me while I was gone. And when I came home, it was like a whole pot and it was like gone. So she must have did a really good job on it. So Sunday was uh, the Kraft Mac and Cheese with hot dogs. Now on Monday, we're having big beef burritos. For some reason, we have a ton of burrito shells. I think that we buy them not knowing we have them. So we're gonna use all those those big beef burrito shells up today. I think I have two different ones. So we're gonna do big beef burritos. And we'll do stuff with them. So we'll have, you know, like the sides, so the lettuce, the tomato, sour cream. Um, we also have accrued lots of avocados. So we're gonna make a ton of guac today. So big beef burritos. Usually we try and do like the Mexican themed meals on Tuesday, but Haley asked, can we please have big beef burritos? Because she really loves burritos. All right. And it's a nice meal too, because um, you can actually use it for leftovers. And we're also going to be making, um, it's called uh, toaster quesadillas. So we're going to make toaster quesadillas. And this is not my idea. I actually got the inspiration by watching reels. Let me see. Quesadillas. Quesad that's, an, that's an A. <laughs> I don't know how to spell quesadillas. I think that's right, right there. Quesadillas. Uh, deal. I don't know. I'll have to fix it. But anyway, so what you do is you get your burrito shell out, you put cheese on it, you fold it, and you stick it into the toaster and it cooks it. Super cool idea. So we're going to do big beef burritos and toaster quesadillas. And I'm going to fix this because it's definitely not right. Okay, so I fixed it. I completely demolished it. I actually had to have my husband help me. He had to Google how to spell quesadilla. Whatever. And then on Tuesday, I'm making an old fashioned pot roast with like the thick gravy and the carrots and onions and potatoes, just like I remember my mom making it when I was little. So we're gonna do an old fashioned. And I say old fashioned because I remember how my mom made it. Uh, I'm gonna do a beef pot roast. So when we were in Disney, 
they have buffets and we went to one of these buffets and they had the pot roast there and the meat was like, oh, it was so tender. It just kind of broke off. And, and so I told my husband, I said, I'm making a pot roast when we get home. So I'm going to make an old fashioned pot roast with a thick brown gravy. And oh, I can't wait. I think I'm going to add a little tarragon to it. And ooh, I can just picture it. So yeah, so this is going to be on Tuesday. So for Wednesday, this is my husband's pick. He wants me to make salmon. When we went to Alaska, we caught Oh, how much honey? Like a hundred pounds of salmon. It was, we just got so much salmon and I keep forgetting it's over there. So I'm going to make a creamy dill salmon with grilled veggies, like maybe, um, asparagus and cauliflower. I'm not sure on the veggies yet, but so I'm going to make a creamy, I love dill so much. It's one of my favorite herbs, creamy dill salmon. I know how to spell salmon with Grill. I think it's time to get out the grill. Grilled veggies. So we have had unseasonably warm weather up here, up north. Normally we have feet of snow. Is that right? Feet of snow? Feet of snow. And it's usually cold, especially February. Usually whenever we go on spring break, there's always like a storm. But we literally have just not much snow. You can see grass all over the place. Um, the sun's shining. It's supposed to be like, I think in the 50s here soon. And then the next week in the 50s. And I have literally not wore a coat since before Christmas. We might have had a, like a couple dips where it was nice and cool, like really cold. But I refuse to. And I brought out the slides. So I've been wearing the slides with my socks. That's how you know people are from up north. Because we don't wear slides with just our feet. Like Burks, we wear them with socks. Plus I have like a weird feet thing. Like I don't like, I wear socks all the time because I just don't like the feel and stuff. But I do like walking outside on the grass with my feet. But that's pretty much it. I just got like a, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so Wednesday was my husband's pick. I should have put my husband's pick. Oh, that's okay. All right, on to Thursday. All right, on Thursday, I'm doing my husband's favorite Dollar Tree dinners. <laughs> I'm going to find one that he thinks is amazing. The wheels are turning. I'm going to figure this out. I am not going to give up. All right, so this is Dollar Tree dinner. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to go look. The only problem I'm having with these is they don't have any fresh components. So I'm thinking about maybe finding like the main part at Dollar Tree and then bringing in some fresh components because you can still like eat cheap at Walmart too. But I'm trying to challenge myself with these dinners. So I think I'm going to get like the main thing and then bring in like a protein or something. Um, because at Dollar Tree, like some of those proteins, they're $5. Well, you can get a bag of chicken from Walmart for $5. So it's not like you're saving money. And then they had these like little tiny bags of shrimp that were $3 and there was nothing in them. Well, you can get a big bag for 6 So. Some things at Dollar Tree are not actually the cheapest. So I think what I'm going to do is find a majority of it there and then bring in some like fresh veggies and fresh proteins. Um, but I do have an idea with my next one. Um, and then I have some other ideas that I'll share with you guys when I'm doing that video. But so yeah, Dollar Tree dinner, my husband's favorite. My daughter Isabella is turning 18 this weekend. So she is going to be having some friends come over on Friday so for Friday, um, I'm going to be doing homemade pizzas because it's her birthday. And so she's having a little party. So I thought, how fun is that? So it's going to be um, a pizza party. But we're going to make them homemade. So I should have probably done that to start. Homemade. My pin is for... that ink going Izzy's party. All right, there we go. So we're gonna do homemade pizzas for Izzy's party. She's having, a, I think, four or five girls. And you know, it's so cold up here and they think that they're gonna stay in a tent. And we try to tell them that it gets like 20 degrees at night and they're gonna be freezing. And I don't think it's gonna be warm enough to have like a little camping party, but I don't know, maybe if they have like a trillion blankets or whatever. Um, and there's still, like I said, there's still a little bit of snow on the ground. So they're gonna have to search for some grass. So I don't know how that's gonna work. 
But anyway, so on Friday is going to be Izzy's um, birthday party with homemade pizzas. And the, the girls can make their own pizzas. And, you know, I'll just get like tons of toppings. We'll do like a pizza, like a pizza bar and they can make their dough. Or they actually have, maybe I'll do that for my Dollar Tree dinner because, excuse me, Dollar Tree has these flatbread pizzas. And you can get all the toppings on there. So maybe these can be like intertwined with each other. Because they have like, it's like a two pack and these like, pizza crust and they're really really nice they're like 50 cents a piece and they're big so the girls can like share them and they also had small ones that had like four in a pack and they had sauce and cheese and stuff so that might be the way to go for this dollar tree dinner so i might combine the two that's actually a really really good idea so i don't I, I don't know, a towel just fell off the roof. We don't know why, we'll go check. So I changed up our weekly meal a little bit. I'm actually gonna do beef stew on Tuesday. And then on Friday, I'm gonna do the Dollar Tree dinner. And I'm going to, hi, gonna do those homemade pizzas for her birthday. Because I wanna do the pizzas with those crusts anyway. So I'm gonna change that up. So that, so beef stew on Thursday, Friday Dollar Tree dinner. And then now all that's left is Saturday. What are you looking at? What is a toaster quesadilla? Oh, she wants to know what a toaster quesadilla is. You want to stick your quesadilla in the toaster? Can you tell me? I can tell you. You take a burrito shell, put cheese and stuff in it, and you fold it into fours and put it in the toaster and put it down. Huh. I found you a spoon in the barn. Oh, great. Thank you. On Saturday is Isabella's 18th birthday, and she loves carnitas, so we're going to make carnitas. So this is Izzy's. Yeah, she loves them. 18 birthday so I literally have four birthdays within three weeks three and a half weeks David Josh no, Gideon and then Izzy and David and Josh and Gideon are within three days so we're gonna make um let's say some let's add super super yummy pork car me tuss. All right, there we go. Okay. So, Izzy's birthday to round out the week. With so I forgot to decorate the board. So I'm going to decorate the board here and I and she really likes greens. So I'm going to decorate it with green circles just to celebrate her birthday. All right, Haley Bell, get ready. You know Haley got to go in town for some stuff. I love these markers so much. I got them on Amazon. They're way better than the actual chalk I know I've told you guys this before, but they're way better than the chalk uh, brand. Yeah, this menu board's a little low, but. So I got like three different color greens. I think you'll be able to tell. Oh uh, yeah. This one has got a little angle to it. So if you wanted, if I wanted to actually do my boards in color, but I find that the white is a little easier to, uh, to read than doing the colors. I did try doing yellow. It was just too much for me. All right, here we go. We did have a wonderful time though. And, uh, but we are definitely ready to come back. I don't think I used this one yet. Oh, and this one has the angle too. Oh yeah, this is nice. Okay, cool. There we go. Just adds a little character. All right. My Haley girl likes polka dots. So when she was little, I put polka dots on her dresser. I put polka dot, I got her polka dotted blankets. I think she had a lot of polka dotted clothes too, actually. She just really liked polka dots. Didn't matter the color. There we go, that looks good. Let's add just a couple more here because beef stew doesn't have a lot going on for it. All right, there it is, our weekly menu. Haley made Kraft mac and cheese with hot dogs, big beef burritos with toaster quesadillas, old fashioned beef, beef pot roast, creamy dill salmon with grilled veggies, a beef stew, Dollar Tree dinner, which is gonna be the homemade pizzas for Izzy's birthday party. And um, Izzy's 18th birthday, super, super yummy pork carnitas. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me on our weekly menu. And that's the cap. <laughs> okay, cut, roll. Thank you for joining us. Or join, huh? cut, take three.
Thank you for joining me on making the weekly menu. Make sure to subscribe and like to Just the Bells 10 and cut four. Thank you for joining me on my weekly menu. Don't forget to subscribe and like to Just the Bells 10. And I just started a new page called A Day in the Life of Mama Bell. It's all gonna be about funny things with my kids, how I respond to my kids. I'm gonna be making vlogs about things that have changed in my life since kids. And I think my first video is gonna be on coffee. How coffee has changed because my kids drink it now. But I don't wanna give it away. So anyway, thank you so much and have a wonderful week.